agroecology is typically the kind of policy we must uh, now give a priority to because of the triple dividend it can deliver. First, it is far more friendly to the environment because it seeks to mimic nature by, if you wish, trying to close the, 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 the loops on the farm and try to recycle waste and produce local inputs, reducing the need for external inputs in agriculture. Secondly, it is labor intensive and therefore it can create employment in rural areas and reduce desertification of rural areas as, at the same time as providing decent jobs. And thirdly, agroecology is a way to provide diverse and nutritious diets to the populations that uh, produce their own food by diversified agriculture in the way agroecology recommends. So agroecology is, is very much uh, the direction we need to take in Europe, in rich countries, as in developing countries. And it is indeed part of the uh, new strategy from farm to fork that the European Commission has proposed uh, for the European Union um, in late May of this year. Um, it is, of course, closely linked to food sovereignty because agroecology is very difficult to develop and to support in a context in which uh, food is globalized and in a context in which food producers compete against one another um, worldwide. Agroecology will only be able to prosper if, if we reinvest in local markets, in short supply chains, and if we um, um, boost the supply of locally nutritious foods produced according to agroecological principles with um, a change in demand in the eating patterns uh, so that uh, the uh, agroecological producers can market their produce um, in, in local markets. So agroecology is closely linked to the rethink of global trade relationships in the direction of food sovereignty. Agroecology is in fact very productive per hectare and per resource. It's resource efficient. Uh, it uses land and water in a very efficient way. However, it is labor intensive and therefore it is not very competitive in today's world. Um, and that is one reason why it is not um, um, able to expand very much without more support. But note that agroecology provides many positive externalities. It provides jobs, it provides healthy diets, it restores the environment and restores soil health and biodiversity in particular. So if agroecology were rewarded for these services and if industrial agriculture were to internalize the social, environmental and sanitary costs of conventional agriculture, then of course um, the equation would be very different. 